The history of cowpea, popularly known as beans, dates to ancient West African cereal farming days, five to six thousand years ago. With more than 5.4 million tons of dried cowpea produced worldwide, Africa accounts for 5.2 million tons, Nigeria being the largest producer, accounting for 58% of the worldwide production of cowpea. Every Nigeria eats cowpea every day. So that's high demand. So that's why we help farmers to produce more. So they can produce surplus and make a lot of money and there's uh, consume also for home consumption. But those who want to go into your last game, there's room to make money because of this high internet demand. But we are scientists, researchers, to help them to, 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 to increase the production so they are not discouraged from producing. If, it, if they produce more in a, a given area, they will be encouraged to expand their production. Considering this great agricultural potential in Nigeria, not forgetting, though, the numerous challenges faced by Nigerian farmers, ranging from pests and disease infestation, poor or non-storage facilities, to non-availability of farm inputs, and more, some scientists deemed it fit to beam such light on how to assist farmers harness the full benefits that are bound in cultivating cowpea. There is good market for cowpea. You know, the largest cow, the largest cowpea grape market is in Nigeria, in uh, Dawanu market in Kano. All right. So, even Nigeria is not producing enough to feed its population. We still have national deficit, and which we import from other neighboring countries. So, we are encouraging farmers to take opportunity of this improved cowpea variety, so as to be able to improve their productivity. If you look at the local material, they are getting about 400 to 500 kilograms per hectare. But other good management with this approved variety, farmer can get up to two hectares, per, two tons per hectare. So you see what the breeders have been able to do. So IHA will continue to develop technology that will suit meet a farmer's needs benefit and increase productivity, increase wealth and create job for the teaming population. I will also encourage the youth to take in, to buy into this uh, activity. I'm well, uh, really proud uh, that my efforts along with everybody else's have uh, helped to make this happen. So it's really good to see these uh, crops prospering. It's nice to hear that they're actually getting out to the farmers. Um, like uh, Ed was saying, it is difficult for us to do a large amount, but we've done little bits to sort of help encourage it, and uh, the people that have taken it on uh, have made a good job of it, and they are getting it out to the farmers. So uh, it's very nice to see, and I'm very proud to be part of it. It all started when I met uh, Ed Southern at a meeting in Ghana 12, 13 years ago, and we were talking about what needed to be done to improve cowpea, and I told them that we needed some resources to get molecular breeding tools out to the uh, out to the breeders and to train the breeders here in West Africa. And so Ed bought into the idea that we had about developing these kinds of tools and training capacity, and we were able to bring over people like Lucky and, and Sobda from and Sorry and other people here to the U.S. and train them in the molecular breeding, help them develop the tools to come back here and set up their labs. And, and this is the fruit of it. This is going from an idea to having crops that are going to benefit not only Nigeria but all of West Africa. Being the major source of plant protein, Nigerians consume a lot of beans, making it a wise choice for farmers' investment. Although, before now, some states and regions in the country considered cowpea planting an exclusive of certain states and regions with the fears that it would not produce well in theirs. But with the efforts and support of scientists today, the story is different. The Burma state was known, known for cowpea, but today, as I'm talking to you now, they are becoming one of the major producers of cowpea in that area, especially this for local government area. Buruku, uh, Buruko, Guma area, Makode, and uh, part of uh, Buku. No, no, it's a very big um, 
achievement and we're very happy. In fact, very soon it will spread all over and I'm sure the farmers are very happy. Very, very happy. Because it's a very nice uh, source of food, especially for children. Yes. And so it's, it's going to solve a lot of food problems in Benue State in particular. These, however, did not come easy as efforts and support from different quarters made this possible. The objective of the, of the, of the Go Accounts Trust is to invest in, in research which will uh, allow us to combat these, these diseases and problems. And we've been very successful. We've seen in the fields here uh, in, uh, in Nigeria, in Makur, University of Agriculture in Makuri, some really excellent results uh, where we've seen the success of, uh, of using these methods that we've developed to combat Striga. Striga is a parasitic weed that once it's established in the, in the farmer's fields is almost impossible to eradicate. So the only way that you can, uh, you can combat the Striga is to develop cowpeas which are resistant to the, to the, to the parasite. And that is what Dr. Lucky has succeeded in doing in the University of Agriculture and Good. And it's a real triumph, I think, for uh, this program. So do you have any regrets or are you happy and hoping that this should be expanded or sustained? I'm very happy. I think it's, uh, it's been a real success. So my investment has been uh, so it's paid, it's paid many times, really. It's so important for not only food nutrition, but for fodder, it's economic tool. And so if you want to target something that is going to have an impact, you target what is one of the most important crops of the region. And, and I think what, what Ed alluded to is we started out with very simple questions. What are the things that we need to do that would most impact cowpea production? It was things like solving the striga problem, solving the aphid problem. And Tackling those allowed us to move forward very rapidly, whereas people with grander visions were slowed down. I think our focused vision is what allowed us to, to get crops in the field so quickly. Even we're stunned sometimes about how quickly this happened. Mm. Now from your estimation, I'm sure where you were conceiving and then doing all the testing, the molecular things in the lab, you had it set target. Has this met that target? Oh, I think it's far exceeded where we thought we would be at this point in time. Mm -hmm. I think we, we were thinking that this was a 10, 15 year plan and then suddenly we find ourselves with really good, really good workers and, and, and collaborators and, and turned out this, these wonderful varieties quickly. Mm -hmm. And not only here, but in, in, in other regions as well. So. You see, the essence of life does not end on the amount of money you have amassed to yourself or the weight. It's the norms and the character on how you have been able to impact other people's life. I'm happy today that the farmers are happy because that has always been my joy to make sure that farmers benefit from the genetics of all what we are doing. Because even the variety when we develop the variety and nobody is using it, you have not done anything. Farmers need to derive benefit from the products that you say you have developed. And I'm happy that the farmers are making much more benefit from this. And they're happy with the product, with the varieties. They are making money from the, variety, from the variety and it's really creating, making income for them to be able to take care of their family and do whatever they cannot do before. It's a source of joy for me because they have acknowledged the work we have done and I'm also happy for them because they are making much more benefit from these improved varieties. And now, farmers from Benue State share their testimonies about cowpea cultivation. First time, I don't even know as we don't have the seed. Uh, Dr. Lucky came to our side there and farm it there. Then. Me, I go to market, I just buy any seed like this, come plant near their farm like this. My own, you don't produce. So, Dr. Lucky look at it, he said, Where did I get this one? I said, I get it in the market. He said, Okay, if I want to plant, then uh, during next year, let me I go and meet him. He will give me the seed so I will, I will farm. So, I, I can't reach, I can't go, go meet him. 
He give me 10 kg. I say, I farm him. That 10 kg, I farm it only one hectare. That one hectare. I say, I don't even know the this thing, but I can't get about uh, 10 bags of the beans. That 10 bags, I can't sell as we don't even have any food at that time. I eat the ten, five bags and sell the five bags. So for now, like this. That five bags, how much you get? I sell it uh, 250,000. So uh, last year, like this, I found a two hectare. I got uh, 40 bags. Let them come and join us so that we farm the beans. Those people in the Kano, uh, Jigawa, everywhere they are bringing beans where they are selling it for us costly so that we farm beans in this Benue state. Everybody, I, I don't even, I don't already invite the whole of my women. Now they are following where I are farming beans. I did be we go to the farm, I can show you everybody's farm here so that we don't start this farm, uh, beans farm product now where that face here i start with two hectares then this year i do my beans work in makodi here four hectares if you go there in fact you love the farm and you love me too why i will love you what happen why i will love the farm god love you hi my sister if you see the farm you will know, say, Kai, this man is trying to. Tomorrow, maybe this one will help him more than the way we, this one is. That mm. is why I'm telling you, say, if you see the farm, you love the farm, and you love me. Hi, beans now, be the best something. I can't lie to you, my sister. Beans now, number one, you use beans, cook, eat, use beans for uh, mama, use beans. For what I walk back, I mean. So beans, you use beans to sell, getting money again. So beans is a very nice something. With this breakthrough, what lies ahead in the field of cowpea production in Nigeria? So it is expected of us to now take this message to the farmers and make sure that all over Benue, those farm, I mean uh, those uh, varieties dominates and uh, with this we are doing it in collaboration with the ADP which is Banada uh, in Benue and we are also working with other ADPs in other states um, so when a variety like this is released we do also demonstrations with the farmers for them to know how the, the, the potentials of those varieties so we will continue to extend these messages and uh, we will also encourage more farmers and more other people to come and collect these seeds from us we have an open door for anybody as much as possible you can come to the university of agriculture makodi you come to the department of crop production i mean uh, 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 plant breeding and sea science if you ask us from the uh, department of crop production just come to uh, uh, college of agronomy university of agriculture makodi you will be able to assess all these varieties that we're talking about you can also contact us through the fdp office close to you or the, the ministry of agriculture in okay. We work with them hand in hand to make sure that this gets across to our farmers. You ate a delicious meal made from cowpea today. Thank a farmer. And not forgetting the scientists as well. Queen Kunde reporting for ZT News.